wanted to show you guys my battery backup system just in case I lose power. We have a threat of a hurricane this next week, Hurricane Sandy. And I went out to look for some gas generators but couldn't find any. They were all sold out. So I had to go a different route. So I went to Walmart. I found these. This is a battery inverter which you can use as AC power and it just hooks up to a 12 volt battery. So I got this hooked up to my wave maker. And on my wave maker I'll just run it for 15 minutes. So it'll run for 15 minutes and then it won't, it'll shut off for 15 minutes. So I'll get more life out of my battery. And then it'll just run one power head just to keep the water circulating in my tank. And it's pretty easy to set up, you just gotta plug it into the battery. And it's got a built-in fan. It's pretty noisy, but it'll help keep water circulating when you don't have any power. And if I'm running the power head at 15 minute intervals, the battery should last around two days with that. You can see I just have it running one power head. So I got that just to have as a backup in case we lose power. And then I also found these at in the fishing section at Walmart. It's called the Bubble Box. And it's just a battery operated air pump. It runs off of two D batteries. And it's supposed to run for 36 hours. And it comes with that air stone. So this will keep my tank aerated while the power's out. I got two of them since I have a bigger tank, so I'll put one on each side. And I got about eight batteries, so I'll be good for about a week on those to keep my tank aerated just in case we do lose power. So I just wanted to show you guys my backup system just in case we lose power next week. It would be ideal to have a generator because then I could run my heater and my return pump. But this will work for at least a week just to keep the water movement and keep my fish and corals alive.